Hello everybody, welcome back to Scrappy Adam and welcome to another day of Scrapper Sketch Sketches. Today we are having a go at this sketch, which I think, but don't quote me, I think I have done before, whether it be here on YouTube or in a previous Facebook Live back when we were doing Scrapping Live. Um, yeah. So we're going to do it again. So we've got one photo and lots of strips and strips up here. Now, to me, it just screams washy. Of course, you can use what you want. You could do stitching, pattern paper, mixed media, all sorts of different stuff. But I am going to do washy and I've pulled out a selection of washy here. So we've got lots to choose from. I will probably choose... I will either choose, I don't know, two or three and repeat, or we'll have a different strip and have them all mixed and matched. I am also going to use two photos, which you will have seen if you are looking at my notes. And I want to add in a couple of frames. This is the start of my frames ephemera from my sort out. So we'll see if we can use a couple of them. I've also got a whole rock of new flares. So we'll see if we can use one of them. And um, for embellishments, I think I'm gonna try and stick to these sticker books. I say think because this is me. It may change, we will see. But we've got the Summer Happy Planet sticker book and then All Boy, Summertime and Scenic Group from Echo Park. These are the old shape style sticker books and they're still pretty full to be honest so i want to see if we can get some of them used we shall see so first things first my photos i have already matted and i have matted this one which is three and a half by four and a half three times and this one which is three by four four times and i literally just went through my six by six paper pad drawer and pulled out random sheets. So we've got all sorts of different ones there. <clears throat> I've cut the branding strip off this paper, which is from a paper pad from Heidi Swap. Can't remember the collection. I think it's Art Walk or Old School, one of the two. Don't quote me, but it's one of the two. And as I said, we're going to stick reasonably close to the sketch, but I'm going to use two photos and I'm going to have them sort of like this. And then we'll have our washi strips coming up to about here and then down to about here. And we'll have a couple of frames. That's the idea anyway. Now, I did think about using this frame, but I love it. So I want to use that as a proper frame. It is screaming shake pocket to me. So I'm not going to use that because it will be hidden. I have a lot of these frames, which are actually print and cut ones from the Pink Paisley Atlas collection. So I have the digital collection and printed a load of them. So I'm thinking we could use one of them. Thinking, thinking out loud, we might, we might not. We've also got one of these. Whoops, it easy. So I might use that one and then I want a blue of sorts just because we've got quite a lot of blue in the layout so let's see what else we have got going on here these frames come from all sorts of collections we've got Heidi Swap, Simple Stories, Echo Park, Carter Bella, Pinkfresh Studio, Coco Vanilla Studio, Rosie Studio, we've got cheap ones, we've got the range and all of them so yeah, we've got a right old mix here and lots to choose from. This one, it's a bit fancy, fancy schmancy. This is another Atlas one, which I do like. I loved that collection so much, but it was released way, way, way before I started scrapbooking. So the only way I was realistically gonna get any of it was by ordering the digital collection. So that is what I did. It's one of the first digital collections I ever got. If you have never got digital collections, it is a cracking way to get a collection for a fraction of the cost. <clears throat> for example, I recently saw Vicky Boot in Discover and Create, I think it was, or it might have been Where To Next, I don't know. 
but I recently saw one of them as a principal at acdigitals.com and it was like $20 for the entire collection. And with that, you get all the paper, all the embellishments, just in principal form. So you get the paper, which you can print A4, 12 by 12, and you get all the embellishments, so the frames, the clips, the ephemera, the stickers, the chipboard, and all that, just in principal form. So obviously you don't get the multi, like the stickers and whatnot, it's just principal, but it's a great way, as I said. Anyway, enough of that. So we are going to use some of these frames to create a little framed section behind our photos. So I'm thinking, let's do that one. Let's do this one. There we go. Whoops. <clears throat> uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to do it this way because we've got the little notches out there. Okay. Let me just keep a track of how big my photos are going to be. So they're going to come to about there. So I want to move this frame over a bit. I want the frames to stay within the area that the photos are going to be in. If that makes sense. Now on the sketch, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. On the sketch, I know that there is only one frame. But, you know, this is Adam. We have to do more is more, obviously. So that's what I'm doing. And there's nothing wrong with that. So I'm going to put a D7 fold that up. Don't know where this frame came from, but I love it. So all the frames in this little drawer in my new sorted embellishment area are cardstock die cut. So they're from ephemera packs or printed ones. Um, I also have another area, which you guys will see when I do do, which is coming, but when I do my sort of, I don't know, craft room tour, which I don't want to do until I've finished everything because it seems a bit pointless and it is taking a little bit of time just because I'm actually doing it properly rather than leaving pieces thinking oh I don't need to sort that area um, I'm trying to do it properly as I say so I will show all of that when that time comes so I've just got some fun foam I am going to Place this photo directly on, which is going to go about here. Not going to do that yet because I need to put the washi tape on. So that is the start of our layout. We've got our frames on and now we're going to do the washi. So let me just show you what washi I have pulled out. So we've got these ones. And then we have got couple of thin ones and then so I know I want to use a bit of this one I'm not sure what brand this one is I think it's bow bunny I don't know why I think that but I think it is and I am going to fold the washi over the edge and I'm also going to put it at an angle because that's how we roll around here <clears throat> so I think initially let's try different washies and we'll see how we go. I may end up repeating, I don't know. We'll see how we get on. Okay, so we've got, what have we got? We've got a dotted one, a plus sign, crosses one. And a floral. And of course I am doing different lengths. Don't know if I've said that. Then we've got a grid. Love grid. And you know um, places like Amazon, Timu, etc. Are great for supplies like that. That can't be copied or anything. I know 
they have the downside, but they are good for that. Um, then we where is our photo? So our photo is there. So we need a couple more. Let's have a stripe. Do 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 do. Okay. Simple stories washi I do love. Especially because it generally is cheaper than American crafts because you get a smaller pack. But sometimes you don't need like eight washies that you get with American crafts. Four, five, three, whatever. I think it's five now, isn't it, from Simple Stories, is generally plenty. So we've got this one. This is a, I think, a Happy Planner washi. Then let's use a rainbow. There we go. One thing I will do is probably, let me just pop that there. Um, I will probably copy the washi up to there rather than have a completely different. So before we stick the photos, I'm now just going to fold, starting at the bottom, fold these over and stick them to the back like so. And I'll just leave them there, then I know that they all go to the edge. Then we can stick our first photo, which is going to go about, move that up a little bit. I want a bit of the red showing. So that's going to go there, and then let's just cut out a bit of fun foam. Fun, because it's got adhesive on the back. There we go. <clears throat> And that is just going to stick there. That's a little bit too much there. And now it's not cut straight, but it's fine. Embrace the wonk, as you say. That is then going to go here. Like so. So there is our photos and that side I think is there a oh no I thought there was a piece on there let me just adjust the camera again so I touched my screen thinking there was a speck of dust on my page but it's fine it's on the camera so hopefully you can't see it if you can I do apologize <clears throat> So now we're going to bring these up here. So I'm going to start with the, whatever these are, what are they? Rainbows. Just because I'm kind of going to copy this, but in reverse so that we can see all of the washi. Because obviously you can't see all of it down there because photos are covering it which is to be expected. Why can't I find the end of the washi? There we go. Okie doke. So that's gonna go on there. Then we have got our stripe. Just gonna cut a bit of that off, there we go. And I am, as we did down there, varying the length. Just think it adds a bit more interest. So there is that one. And then we've got the floral. So I've just continued on with that washi, just because it's quite repetitive. So we've got that going there. As I say, we're going bottom to top top to bottom so that is all matchy matchy which is good so now it's a case of our embellishments really our title goes here so i need to think about a title i did think about acrylic maybe so i've just pulled out some of these and let's see if there is anything 
we might want to use. I'm trying to still use up all this. It's a slow process. It's a slow process. We might use that actually and add at the beach. Maybe. What do we think? It's a decent enough title, that, isn't it? Relax at the beach. And I quite like the fact that it's the light blue tone on tone. So let me peel off the protection. So for the addition to our title, we have some options. I've brought this in, which is the Simple Stories Color Vibe Summer Sticker Book. Lots of options, including tile stickers there. But these also have alphas. So in the Happy Planner one, we have got, what alpha is it? Can't, there we go. It's this colourful one. Now, of course, they are clear stickers. Not necessarily a bad thing for this layout. The alphas in here do not exist. <laughs> the alphas in here are tile. So that could work nicely. And the alphas in here are sort of vintage map vibes going on. So I think, let me stick down the acrylic piece first just using a bit of nouveau glue to get that on the page there we go do, do, do. so i'm going to pop this there so the top of the r and l are touching the washi just so it sort of maintains with Part of the layout and then oops i'm going to use these i think so let's have an air um, no what we need to do is spell it so at the beach because i want to make sure i spell it right but i want to put them on starting there so we've got h and a c of course, these are tile stickers, so I am putting them on wonky. It's how I always do tile stickers. Always have, always will. It's just my vibe. I just think it sort of works better because I know I'm never going to get them on perfectly straight. So embrace the wonk from the start and I won't have an issue. That's the way I look at it anyway. So we've got that, and then we've got E, H. We don't get many, which is the only thing, many stickers here. But there's enough for this title. But then I'll probably struggle to make another title, because we now have no E's, no A's, no T's. But it's... A okay. I need to think about an idea to use up tile stickers, like a alpha attack sort of layout. So that is our title: Relax at the Beach. We've got our photos, frames, washi. There isn't going to be much more, if I'm honest. Let me see. Do, do, do that in there let me see what we've got in the happy planner sticker book so obviously it's happy planner it's all about planning so a lot of them are planner related and boxes and things like that they are also quite feminine if i'm honest which is fine but obviously it's a photo of me so i'm not sure if we will get much out of it but I figured it was worth a shot. I quite like that. As a little sun. And then we do have these flare options. So we've got a boho beach vibe, some watercolour clouds, another rainbow set, and watercolour rainbows. So let me cut that see if we can add a rainbow with that sun so these are flat backed go pop a little foam dot and I'm gonna overlap that there 
So we've got a little cluster going on there. Just a little one. Just a little one. Then I'm going to use some of these gold stars because we've got gold foiling in one of the washies. So I feel like it can work together. And the paper that I've used means that you will see you will see it. So let's bring in some of them. Just going to use them a bit like enamel dots, a bit like splatters, as a little bit of a finishing touch, if you will. <clears throat> let's pop one more down there. Okay, so we can always get more if we want. We've got some banner stickers. Where were they? There. Living my best life, fun in the sun, best weekend ever, the ocean is calling. So we could use one of these. Let's use a yellow one. And pop that on here. Just goes to show that whilst they are planner stickers, you can very much still use them in scrapbooking, which is what I've always done. You're not going to be able to use it all, but it's there's enough for you to be able to use a good proportion. So let's add a smaller one above there, which says, love this. And I have over 100 sticker books, so I certainly need to get some used. Then we've got Echo Park Summertime. This is an old, old, old collection. Not my favourite collection. Don't know why I got it. But let's see if we can use some of these. <clears throat> Typically Echo Park. Very boxy, as I call it. I quite like that pineapple. He's quite funky. Um, so there is a embellishment cluster on the sketch that's here so I'm going to stick that pineapple there I know it's random I know it's random you don't have to look at me like that but it's fine it is fine now there are some clouds in the sky so I think it's okay to use a cloud flare what do we think I think so not one with rain but I am going to use one nonetheless so these are plastic backed, just because we do the variety. So let's put this cloud here. Why not? Why not? Why not? And then I think I want something to tuck in there. Now it could be a floral. I think that's too much floral though. So let me cut that and see how... That goes. And then I might bring that up here as well, actually. Just to give us a little bit of repetition, as they say. Okay, I think that's probably going to do it. Although we have got a nice little banner here. I'm going to stick that above the wash, uh, or top of the washi. I know we don't need it, but that's all good. And then a little word sticker there that says summer fun. We've not really made a dent in the sticker books, I have to say, but I have used more than I had used 10 minutes ago. So not a complete disaster. And then I think we will use a couple of these. I'm going to layer them up like so. And then stick them on top. Like that. Just to give a little splash of colour above there. And I think that is probably it, to be honest, guys. That is going to be quite a simplistic layout. But there is the sketch, and there is my take on it. I think you will agree 
that's sticking quite close to the sketch, especially for me. What do we think? I quite like it, actually. Hope you have enjoyed day three, I think it is, of our Scrapper Sketch series, continuing on with getting sketchy. I shall, before we go, I just want to add one more thing. I feel like I need a star down here. Um, I will be back tomorrow with another Scrapper Sketch layout. We're going to continue it on. I'm not giving myself pressure. So if there is a day where the video is not there or it's late, don't panic. It will be coming. We are continuing on. We've done a video every day for two months and I plan on continuing it. So I've just added a couple more stars there. I just felt like something was missing. I love that. Thank you all so much for watching and engaging. I really appreciate it and I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget to check out all the Scrapper Sketch links in the description box down below. Bye for now.